Okay, AI is going to take over your UX job. It is inevitable. This is mainly due to the fact that you won't be doing simple tasks that AI could easily replicate. These might include just pushing pixels to achieve the optimal padding on something, or it may be creating a higher fidelity mock-up of a simple sketch, because there are already AI softwares that can do this for you. So to that degree, UX will be taken over by AI, but entirely, I don't believe so. So let's take a look at what is good about AI coming into UX, what why it might be bad, and how will it exactly actually take over UX roles. So firstly, let me just start by saying what AI in user experience design actually means. Many of you may already know, but if you don't, AI basically stands for artificial intelligence. So it's something that mimics a certain part of humans. Now, in user experience design, this means that if you are in UX, you probably know that you have to sketch what certain apps might look like, for example. Now, with AI in UX, it could be possible in the future, and there may already be softwares that do such a thing, that they can actually just create the thing, they can design the software, they can create the software. So, in a minute, we will look at what is actually the future of AI in software. But for the moment, AI in UX design is not huge because UX design itself is not a huge industry. Well, it is worth billions, but not as big as other industries as it's not been along around for the longest. Now, the reason AI is actually used in user experience design, such as other industries, is it allows us to actually achieve things we could not achieve before. This would relate more to machine learning, which is a subcategory of artificial intelligence. But we can also use AI to delegate certain mundane tasks. Well, like you don't really want to be sitting there at least. I know I don't want to be sitting there just pushing certain pixels of a design to make it look just right. I do do that, but in reality, that is not helping you achieve a desired outcome of whatever it is you're working on, whether it be a piece of software, website, or whatever that may be. Now, AI is actually needed in user experience design. Because with new products that are created, and when we're utilising UX in those products, we're trying to create the best product that we can. And we need in any help that we can have would be beneficial. Now AI is that help in this scenario. But although it may sound to you as of now that I've just mentioned, it's a great thing. But there are certain reasons that AI would not be good in UX design. These include such things as there's no human connection. Now, you've probably used a chatbot on a website and they can be helpful, it's great, but they're not human, they can't understand your exact needs. Now, this also brings me on to another reason that it may not be good and that's because you actually need to provide the AI with the ideas, with what is meant by a user's need. So this can also make it biased, which is another reason. If you provide it with certain information, it's just going based off that information and no other thing. So it's not using your experiences, your whatever you have or whatever everyone else has, their experience, their skill set. You're just providing it with whatever you provide it with and it's utilising that. For example, if you're doing user tests and you use AI to help you with this, you're probably telling it something along the lines of if a user does this certain action on that software or website, then it means this. Now, there are times, maybe not um, often, but these aren't actually true. The user may click it by accident, and you would have to provide the AI with that information, because if you don't, then it would just say, oh, it's because they feel this certain emotion, and that would be wrong. So it can be biased, and that is a bad part about it. The more information you do provide it, though, the more accurate it will be, but that is quite difficult. Another thing with AI not being the perfect solution to every UX designer is it can't exactly do everything, okay? At least not for now or in the near future. It can't manage stakeholders, for example. That wouldn't really work because although you do use it as a chatbot, it's not necessarily a real person. It doesn't have all these experiences. It can't just answer every question you ask it. 
There are certain AIs that have been created to answer certain questions, like Siri. If you ask it a question, then you may get the answer to that question. But you can't ask it certain things like, where do you believe this company is going, or how do you uh, foresee solving these user needs? It can't do that as of now. So, at least for the time being, UX designers are needed to an extent. Now, although there are a few bad things with having AI in UX for UX designer roles, there are many benefits because for the near future and perhaps the future altogether, user experience designers are still needed to actually tell the AI what to do and make sure the AI is not being biased. So you still have to use your own experiences and skill set. And also, AI can be cheaper and in certain scenarios more accurate than humans. Let's say, for example, you want to transcribe certain user testing interviews or whatever similar things to that. It can be cheaper to just get the AI to transcribe them. And there are many humans that in UX design that don't want to do that task. So it's beneficial for every party involved. And this can happen in multiple scenarios where AI is actually should be used. And when this is and it's cheaper and easier to use, it's used more often meaning the businesses use UX design more often, thus needing UX designers more often and solving more user needs. Now, just to ease any stress on you that you think AI might take over your UX designer role, the UX design industry, as I mentioned previously, is not as huge as other industries, such as transportation. AI is used in self-driving cars now because that is a huge market and it makes sense to create AI solutions for that. It doesn't necessarily make sense creating a lot of AI solutions for UX design. Now, it is beneficial for UX designers, but to create something that completely gets rid of the UX designer role does not make sense. AI solutions creating for UX designer roles, so to help them make their work more efficient and effective, does make sense. But also, um, big companies don't have huge design teams such as Google, they actually only a small percentage of their team is designer roles. So for them to get AI to take over those roles does not make sense. So as for the actual future of AI in um, UX design, I can't say for sure because I have not went into the future to see. But I can foreshadow um, AI in UX being used for such things as understanding the emotions of users. It could also be used to find solutions to solve the needs of users. But also, humans are still needed in this because you need a human to look at the solutions it has came up with and be like, yes or no, based on your experience and your expertise. You also still need humans in this because you need them to be the unbiased. You need them to bridge the gap between miscommunication that may have been caused. AI in UX is beneficial for everyone. It helps UX designers, UX researchers and all of those similar roles do their job more efficiently and effectively and you will um, solve more people's needs because of it and better products will be created because of it. But UX designers and researchers and all of those UX design roles are not going to go anywhere anytime soon. At least, I don't believe so. AI in UX is also going to make you more productive. As I've mentioned, it will make your job more effective and efficient. Now, with this, that means you'll be providing more value to the company and the product, which when that happens, you usually get paid more, which is great. So if you want to be more valuable in your team and more valuable to the company and product you are creating, you can use such tools to make you more productive, these AI tools. A couple of examples are one called UI Zerd. UIZard, something along those lines. It basically creates um, wireframes of a sketch you may draw. You just take a picture and it will create it from that. And that's awesome, it makes it more productive, it's more efficient than taking your sketch into the design. Now, I personally like designing those mock-ups, but in reality, we look for the most efficient ways of doing a thing and the most effective. So you may still need to go into that design and tweak it slightly but it is much more efficient just taking a picture and it creating it for you. Another AI tool that will make you more productive and valuable in your team is Headline. This tool actually 
um, create a web page from speech. You will just say what you want the web page to be and it will create it. I'm not sure the extent you can say, but this is great in any scenario. You can just say a simple web page design and it's created. Well, this is incredible. So you can use that and it can also create the HTML file for that. So if you want to create web pages, this will make that process much easier, much more seamless. So thank you for listening and learning. If you found any value in this video, please consider subscribing. Thank you and bye. Thank you.